Thanks for staying with us. Moving on, an agricultural non-governmental organization, Thrive Greek, is set to empower 125,000 smallholder farmers with financial inclusion access and also services. At a meeting of stakeholders in Abuja, they stated the mission to build the largest network of profitable farmers across Africa, while also ensuring food security on the continent. Abida Lawo has more. The agricultural sector in developing countries like Nigeria is characterized by low productivity, driven partly by low use of modern agricultural technologies. Poor access to credit is seen as a key barrier to adoption of these technologies. Policy discourses are often associated with credit constraints by small orders with supply-side factors such as inadequate access to sources of rural finance or high cost of borrowing. This gathering of agri-fintechs that help digitize payment financing and support for the agricultural sector connecting small older farmers to the former financial economy is positioning them for better access to finance, credit, digital services and introducing them to the formal economy which has numerous other benefits in the long run. The goal for those save cash in and cash out is not for the farmers to cash out. It is actually for the farmers to realize that, to realize the possibility of cash out and then realize that, okay, if someone says money is in my account, then actually means money is in my account. And so the idea is they cash, in, they cash out the first time, cash out the second time, um, and eventually realizing that they can trust the money is there and cannot leave their money in their accounts, begin to build savings culture, and then in addition to even just unlocking financing for agriculture, can then begin to unlock financing for other things. Our strategy of implementing this, we also feel strongly that we can't just implement program as program alone. There's a big other side of things that we have to address. We have an aging smallholder farmer population. And we said that they account for most of our food production in country. They are aging and our young ones are not interested or are not incentivized enough to want to take on agricultural endeavors. Consequently, improving rural credit through policies that mitigate such supply-side constraint is often recommended as an effective strategy to boost technology adoption and agricultural productivity. Habida Lawao, TVC News, Abuja.